Today, I am turning your scary drawings into scary spore creatures. <laughs> yes, it's spooky time. The first drawing comes at us from Sean. Oh god, that is horrifying. It's... it's perfect. Now, this creature right here was actually quite difficult to make because it's so scary looking. To capture that in Spore is a difficult task, to say the least. I decided to make the ribcage out of these little tail parts because it seems like on the drawing the ribcage actually has a stringy type of a quality to it. So that's what I tried to capture. Now the head of this creature was probably the most difficult part about it. It was actually so hard that the head that you're seeing me build right now, yeah, it's not the final head. So you know what, let's just skip that part. We're going to be remaking that head soon anyway. Oh, and to all of you new viewers, the orange parts on the creature are not going to stay orange. All of those parts will blend to the actual skin color of the creature <coughs> once we're finished. So here we have the finished monster. Oh, and I hope you guys like the little short film. I figured it would be a good way to showcase these creatures in a fitting setting. But yeah, here we have the finished... Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, Mr. Stairboy. You're... He stares... Mr. Stares a lot. That's him. That's... Yep. It's a spooky name, guys. Now, all things considered, I think we did a pretty good job. I hope you like it, Sean. Anyway, guys, let's get right into the next drawing. Our next drawing comes at us from Trevor Boy. Now, this guy has a beautiful smile. If he wasn't this nasty, I am sure he could get a part in a toothpaste ad. For sure. Now, this creature was actually a lot of fun to make. Since it is so cartoony, it is absolutely in the realms of possibilities with Spore. It's, it's the perfect creature to make with Spore, honestly. Now, I originally thought that this creature only had one eye, but then my girlfriend kindly reminded me that I was an idiot. I didn't take into effect the perspective of the drawing. Of course he got two eyes. Now, the monster on the drawing also seems to have like a bajillion teeth. So I decided instead of making every tooth individually, I would just use the parts that I usually use to make hair. Broke out hair teeth. You got a problem with that? I sculpted the three tongues coming out of his mouth. I just wish that they could actually animate. That would have been nasty, man. I then sculpted a more realistic body shape because I found the more realistic muscle structure a creature has, the more nasty it is. 
And then once we had sculpted the body, we were done. So here we have the finished um, Mr. Tooth Person. You know what? We haven't done a Mrs. yet. This is Mrs. Tooth Person. She's also a toothpaste model. Now I am actually really happy with the final result, especially the sculpting of the body. Now you can barely notice all the parts that we placed on the chest and stomach of the creature. But just that little bit of realism really ties the whole thing together and just makes it a little less cartoonish. Anyway, Trevor, I hope you are happy with your Mrs. Teeth person. Now let's move on to the next one. Next up, we get a drawing from Thalassophobia. Oh, he seems nice. What a happy face. Okay, I'll be honest, this was a real, real simple creature to make. But I still wanted to make it because that creature, even if it's that simple, it is super creepy, man. And that just comes to show that you don't always have to make the most complicated creatures to invoke a feeling. Oftentimes, it is the most simple designs that invoke the most feelings. Now, the feeling that this specific design invokes? I am not a fan of that feeling. But you know what? The algorithm is. So... I am trying to get on board with it. So here we have the finished Sluts guy. Sluts man. Mr. Sluts man. Now I'll be honest, this guy kind of ended up just looking like a Pokemon. It's like a ghost type Grimer. Now you may be wondering why I am walking the creature back and forth. Well, if I just stop for one second. Yeah, um, <laughs> the animations are a little bit broken. Alright, Phobia, I hope you are happy with your Sluts monster. Now let's move on to the final drawing for today. The next drawing comes at us from Digital Ori. Cream? Is that you? Alright, listen, we have gotten through these last three creations way too fast. I got a family to feed, so we are taking this last creation a little bit slower. Just gonna sit back, chill, relax, have a good time. Together. Yay. Yeah, you know what? I don't like it any more than you do. So let's just get through this. Don't, 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 don't you click away. Don't, you, come, get back here. S sit down. Uh, I got the picture on my second monitor and I can already tell that this is going to be a real nasty creation, man. What does the text say? Scary balloon person? Okay. 
Okay, that's looking pretty good, I think. I'm not sure. And we want the legs to be about half of the length of the... Oh, God. Okay, those are faced the wrong way. There we go. Half of the length of the actual mon monster girl. Girl monster. Oh, look at those thighs. It's a buff monster. It's a buff monster girl. <laughs> oh, no. That's not... That was accidental. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. I swear that was accidental. Okay, there we go. That is roughly the body shape that we are after. All right, now let's see what type of a color is most fitting for that dress of hers. I think a very toned down yellow would be the right choice here. But which one? So right there we got several options. Okay, you know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, call me Freddy, lick me toe. I'm gonna choose this one. This one is fine. This one is fantastic. Is it? Yes, it is. Fantastic, I like it. Now let's get that dress sculpted then. I don't want them to con- Ah, uh, stop it! I don't want them to connect! Just let it right there. Yes, fantastic. Stop it! Right, right there. Yes, okay, fantastic. Let it go- Oh, it needs to go a little bit more to the side. Just a little bit. Mm. Okay, you know what? Let's zoom in. Zoom in on the- Stop it! What if we make it smaller? Maybe if we make it smaller, I can get it in there. Yes! Okay, good. Okay, don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's good now. So it's looking good so far. I tried to face all the parts so that it would match the same texture as we can see on the drawing. Now we need to find the right shade of blue to use for the little, um... The things. The, the fluff. The stuff. The, the, the stuff for the fluff. Yes. I'm not gonna come up with a better explanation than that. That's perfect. Alright, I mean, we got all the basic parts right now. But so far, it's not creepy. It's not creepy at all. And we will get to creepifying it in just a bit. But first, we got some boots to make. Some boots. Alright, so the outfit is finished. Now, I was thinking we would... Nope. Nope, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking we would just remove this part of the arm. And, uh, since I got this page open, you might be thinking that I am planning on adding some water blasters or a shotgun to the, to the ghost person. Which would actually not be a bad idea. These would make perfect eyes. Yes. You can see so far. No, what I was planning on doing was actually going to the next page right here and taking the cell flagella. Because I think that part will actually animate if we see the character in game. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect, but so nasty. So, so nasty. All right, now we need to paint on the face. Ah, oh, but this, this right here, this, this would be creepy. Let's see if we can find something better. All right, so I have an idea of what we can do with the head. But I have a feeling that this is gonna mess up. No, wait a minute. This is fine. Okay. <laughs> I thought that would mess everything up. But it didn't. All right, cool. Right there. That's my idea. This is perfect. I'm done. This is perfect. There's no things that I could possibly do to make that thing better. I'm done. All right, fine. Fine. All right, so I just placed one of these recoloring spheres on the head. And then using the recoloring bumps, I believe those two parts, even though they should do the same thing, I think they're gonna do different things. I'm hoping that they're gonna do different things. They're not gonna do different things, are they? Nope, they didn't do different things. Those are the same things. Crap. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see here. Fine, I'll just go for a white sphere then. That's gonna look a little bit silly but fine we're, we're doing it or I could actually use the coat sphere now this is going to look green but don't worry as soon as we go to the paint mode this ball of greenness is just going to color to whatever color we have the coat color set to now hopefully these two things will do different things because they are different things so they should they should definitely do different things ah yeah, uh, close enough. Okay, good. They are, they're kind of different things. Now let's see if we can get the face looking as creepy as it looks on the drawing. Oh, that's right. I also, that one little trick of my sleeve. Actually, I'm gonna save that for last. You guys are gonna see the trick. The trick is gonna be cool. And then some final details like that little band-aid. Let's see, do we have the perfect brown color or nah? 
Oh, we do. Okay, fantastic. All right, so I think we should be good to go. We have all the parts, I think. Now, for the final little thing, I just want to make the pose a little asymmetrical. Just like that. Just so she's kind of crooked. Just a little bit. Oh, and one final thing I want to do is also, I think I want to do this, make the head a little tilted. Oh, yes, there we go. Maybe the other direction? I'm not sure. Which direction? Whoa, the world is our oyster. We go left and right. Oh, my God. So much freedom. Oh, wait a minute. What have I done to the face? Oh, all the things. They're messed up. No, they're not supposed to be facing like that. What is going on? Okay, it seems like it's fixed now. But do I want it to be faced that direction? I don't think so. I think that's better. I'm not sure. Maybe that. You know what? Like that. Perfect. Yes. Mm, okay. Mm. I'm honestly, I'm having the hardest of times right now. Trying to decide which direction the head is supposed to... Which is creepier? I'm not sure. Oh, God. You can do one of those things. Ooh, 360 no scope, baby. You know what? I think I like it the other direction. Yes, there we go. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna change it anymore. I might change it one more time though. No, no, not gonna change it. Not changing it again. So here we have the finished scary balloon person girl monster. I think we did a pretty okay job. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see all of you beautiful faces in the next one. Have a good one, guys.